Hey everybody, this is Jeff with Garden Hydroponics. Uh, doing a little replacement video here. I did a video the other day uh, just uh, talking about my Arduino and uh, kind of introducing you to the automation uh, portion of my hydroponic garden. And, and I will say that uh, I did it while I was tired. It was, you know, very boring. So we're going to do a really abbreviated version of it. Uh, the same video. And hopefully uh, I can at least uh, get you past the first portion of it right here. So let's get straight to it. Thanks. Okay, so if you actually are familiar with Arduinos and the uh, family of Arduino uh, microcontrollers, you will recognize the Uno uh, sitting in front of you. Uh, if not, uh, these are there are several different types of Arduino that are available. Uh, they are all, um, uh, you can find them at robotics locations, you can find them online. And they have different numbering pins. I like this Uno. I've had it for a number of years. Uh, I use it for a lot of my breadboarding and uh, prototyping, which is what we're doing here. Uh, but basically, uh, just to kind of uh, get you started, just to show you what I'm doing here, I want to take your attention probably away from the red and green wire uh, that are that are here. Uh, the red wire is actually plugged into the five plus uh, volt. Um, pin and the green is into ground and then they basically track around the breadboard to the jumpers and then directly into my solid my single channel solid state relay um, we'll talk a little bit more about that here in just a second the only pin that I'm using uh, and this is kind of important is to pick the right pin uh, basically most of your uh, solid state relays and this one in particular uh, will not work using PWM pins. And your PWM pins are actually marked um, uh, pretty clearly on your board. So just uh, making sure that you choose a pin that's not a PWM. Uh, for, the, for this actual demo, I chose pin two. And you can see pin two is actually connected to the breadboard. And then that jumper is connected to another jumper which goes directly into the switch channel of the uh, solid state relay. Uh, the solid state relay itself, single channel, uh, you can get multi-channel, it doesn't matter. Uh, you can get different types of relays, but basically a relay is a digital switch if you're not familiar with it. Uh, this is, uh, you know, uh, basically what happens is the Arduino itself sends a high signal uh, to that particular pin. It activates the switch uh, and it closes the uh, Closes the switch, connect, and, and creating the uh, uh, the bypass for the current. So, the um, or actually creating the channel for the current. So, then you can turn around and use the Arduino at another period of time. Send a low uh, uh, signal to the switch, and it turns it off. Very simple. Uh, but basically, what I'm planning on using this for is to uh, turn on pumps, turn off pumps. Um, turn on lights, turn off lights, and you can also use the uh, different pins and everything on your Arduino uh, to connect to different sensors. Uh, you can actually have those sensors actually send the signals for you. Uh, and so I could have a pH meter or a temperature uh, meter. Uh, probably one board. There's also extensions that you can get to these boards or other boards that you can actually attach uh, in libraries so that you can bring in a little bit more intelligence and one of the ones that I want to add to this project is a clock board. Uh, by adding a clock board I will be able to um, set signals to uh, to activate at a specific time so I can set the uh, length of my lights you know by the uh, by the time of time of day. The other uh, type of extensions you can get for this are Wi-Fi boards uh, connecting it to the internet so that you can build an application to um, automate your uh, hydroponic garden or whatever project you have. I've actually used this on several different projects from uh, LED projects to uh, just uh, a number of different uh, uh, little test projects using motion sensors, light sensors. Uh, it's a great little um, hobby to uh, get into these Arduinos and a lot of people uh, have done some really great things with them. So, uh, without uh, too much more on the description of the Arduino, 
I will uh, take you through the rest of my circuit. So basically what I have is a 120, uh, you know, 120 cable, simple, I uh, used a, uh, an old extension cord uh, start. Uh, I took one line, uh, ran it directly to the, uh, to a, uh, an outlet that I had laying around and then uh, took the other line and basically passed it through the switch itself. Uh, so when the switch is off, no current, the switch is on, we have current. Uh, and then I basically, just to kind of show the activity, uh, I have plugged in uh, just a simple incandescent bulb and I've also connected my uh, voltmeter. So let me go ahead and um, show you a little bit of the programming behind this and then we'll turn it on. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do when you get your uh, Arduino and it's not zooming in here, but the, basically is go download the free IDE software. Uh, you're going to really want to kind of kick yourself uh, when you see how easy the programming is and why you didn't buy your Arduino sooner. Uh, this is uh, really kind of straightforward programming uh, with uh, very little, um, very little effort uh, for or knowledge that's required. So I basically in in this uh, ID there are actual uh, examples that come with it, and if you go in and look at the examples, uh, one of the examples is one uh, I believe it's under the basics, just called Blink. Uh, I've used Blink just for this demo. Uh, why? Because demos are fast, demos you don't want to spend a whole lot of time. This one was written in 2014 by a gentleman named Scott Fitzgerald. Basically, he had taken digi or digital pin 13 and set it up as a uh, digital pin 13 and then uh, set it as an output and then he sends 13 a high signal delays one second and then he sends 13 a low signal well literally all I did was change anything in here that I saw as 13 uh, to 2 and put a uh, 5 second so basically changing everything in here that's 13 to 2 and then changing my delay up here to 5 seconds just for the sake of my demo uh, the next thing you do is basically just uh, once your Arduino is connected, you can connect it using a standard uh, uh, UB or USB cable that kind of very similar to a printer cable uh, for the end of your to your Arduino. Uh, and different Arduinos have different methods of connecting to the computer. You just have to look at your particular model. Uh, but basically, that's it. As soon as it's connected, uh, you can just there's a little upload button and it uploads your script uh, directly to the Arduino and, and it will run that script over and over and over again. So whatever commands you have in your script, it just will run all the, it'll run through it. Um, this one is actually on a loop function, so it literally will just run over and over and over that little bit of code, basically sending uh, pin two to uh, a high signal, pin two a low signal. Uh, but very simple, uh, straight out of the box, ready to go. So let's turn it on. All right, let's turn the sucker on. Uh, so basically, once you've uploaded your script, uh, you're ready to go. And anytime you apply power to the Uno, it's going to start through that sketch again. It's going to start, and with our sketch uh, that we uploaded, it's basically going to send a a uh, high signal uh, to the to the number two pin, and it's going to send a low signal to the number two pin five seconds later and then it's going to rinse and repeat. Uh, so uh, one of the best things about the Arduino uh, series is that they take a very low power input, meaning you can uh, use just a simple um, DC or AC DC adapter uh, that you find on most of your most of your products. I actually retrofitted this little uh, uh, six volt adapter. Uh, so it takes 120 and six volt out. Uh, just uh, basically connected it to the right uh, right uh, insert or input and you know uh, you turn around and plug it in but they've got uh, all kinds of different uh, power sources that you can use for these they've got battery packs that you can attach to these uh, 
uh, rechargeable battery pack, solar power, uh, I mean, you name it. Uh, and anytime uh, power is actually um, given to your Arduino, it starts through the sketch. So it makes it a very repeatable process, uh, very easy to, uh, to restart the system, uh, just disconnect the power, and, and then reconnect the power. So our sketch, like I said, it's going to wait five seconds, and then it should turn on the light, and the voltmeter uh, should show or should register. Uh, and in five seconds, it turns off the solid state relay again, and everything should shut down. So let's uh, go ahead and plug it in, and we've got power. And up oh, there goes our incandescent light, our voltmeter. Simple, stupid, a uh, little five or six volt power source um, controlling a 120 watt uh, connection. This is uh, this is good for so many things. Uh, all you got to do at this point, and this is my this is my favorite part, is add a few more relays. Oh, even have one more. Uh, so, you know, it'll help you power your world. All right. Well, I hope you liked this video. I uh, hope it's much better than the first one that I posted. And I uh, hope you guys show me that you like this video. Uh, click on like below. Click on subscribe. And, uh, you know, if you have questions, go ahead and send them to me. Uh, I'll try and put as much detailed information behind this uh, as I can. Uh, but, you know, a simple Arduino... Uh, you're only limited by the number of uh, pins that you have, and uh, the different uh, Arduinos in the family have uh, different sets of pins. Just uh, look at what you're what you're getting, uh, and then uh, go grab yourself uh, a bunch of uh, solid state relays, and automate your hard hydroponic garden, automate your chicken coop, automate your automate your home I mean this is uh, you know a really really simple way to uh, put some brains behind it so thanks so much uh, subscribe below and uh, follow along as uh, I work through the process of automating my hydroponic garden thanks